Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to Krish Nayak Hindi YouTube channel. So guys, in the recent uh, Google I.O. announcement, there were a lot of announcements and one of the major announcement was about Project Astra. Now, what is this Project Astra? Uh, it is a universal AI agent that is helpful in everyday's life. We are going to see its amazing use case over here. So you can see over here, building on our Gemini models, Project Astra explores the future of AI assistant that can process multi-model information, understanding the context you are in and respond naturally in conversation. And I hope everybody has also seen OpenAI GPT-4.0 model, uh, which also performs almost similar things. Uh, so we can, I have already uploaded a video about GPT-4.0. You can check it in my YouTube channel. But today in this video, Let's go and see some amazing demo from this particular Gemini model. So let's go ahead and have a look over here. Okay, let's do some tests. Tell me when you see something that makes sound. I see a speaker, which makes sound. What is that part of the speaker called? That is the tweeter. It produces high frequency sounds. Give me a creative alliteration about these. Creative crayons color cheerfully. They certainly craft colorful creations. <laughs> what does that part of the code do? This code defines encryption and decryption functions. It seems to use AESCBC encryption to encode and decode data based on a key and an initialization vector, IV. That's right. What neighborhood do you think I'm in? This appears to be the King's Cross area of London. It is known for its railway station and transportation connections. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. <laughs> what can I add here to make this system faster? Adding a cache between the server and database could improve speed. What does this remind you of? Schrodinger's cat. All right, uh, give me a band name for this duo. Golden Stripes. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Gemini. So just by seeing this, guys, I hope uh, you have seen this amazing demo out here, right? <clears throat> and uh, if I just compare with OpenAI GPT-4.0, right, there are many functionalities that I see that are added in Google when compared to probably GPT-4.0, like pointing the direction, you know, probably providing more context information. And it was also able to remember, right, that goggles where it was, you know, so that context information is also very much important. You could also see that the architecture diagram that was probably there and it was integrated in one goggles right just by putting a mark over there and it was able to suggest right regarding architecture also what it can be basically done and all so uh, this was the entire demo um, and it is being able to like you can see over here explain parts of a race car so here uh, there is another amazing demo explaining physics drawing right so there is another demo and this was the recent announcement that was probably made which is making a buzz right so let's let's watch this particular video and then you'll be able to understand more about it you know try to guess this famous figure that's a fun drawing is it albert einstein yeah what did he do around this time in 1905 albert einstein published his groundbreaking theory of special relativity <laughs> Do you want another hint for your drawing? Does this remind you of any of his work? Yes, that drawing reminds me of his photoelectric effect paper, which also won him the Nobel Prize in 1921. Okay, okay, do you know who this is? Is this a new famous figure? This makes me think of gravity and Isaac Newton. <laughs> Did he share anything with that first guy I showed you? 
Both Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein were physicists who revolutionized our understanding of the universe. Thanks, Gemini. So this was another very powerful demo. You can just see just by seeing the doodles, it is being able to relate it. So obviously seeing this particular demo also will not make sense because obviously if it is able to do this, I think this question equations can be easily solved. Recognizing drawings from landmarks, memorizing a sequence of objects, interpreting drawings from literature, you know, all these functionalities can be basically done over here. Um, Again, uh, what we see, right, there is a famous competition that is probably going with OpenAI versus Google. And just by seeing right now the capabilities of this Astra project model, uh, Project Astra, uh, you can probably see that where we are specifically going and what all things we can actually achieve. So I hope you like this particular video. Uh, this was it from my side. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Again, you can explore more about this. You can see tons and demos. But at the end of the day, as you all know that, uh, you know, once this particular model will probably come up to us, it'll be, and I think they have also put up in the Google Pixel phone, right? And you can also see the demo out there, right? Um, interpret drawing from literature. Let's see one more demo. Uh, then we should be able to understand much more better. What famous piece of literature does this remind you of? That image of a skull reminds me of Hamlet. Do you enjoy Shakespeare's work? Yes, I do. Um, can you tell me what this famous thought experiment might be and explain it to me in one sentence? That looks like the ship of Theseus thought experiment. It questions whether an object that has had all of its components replaced remains fundamentally the same object. Hmm. Can you give me a creative poem about these objects? A vibrant orb, a mine laid bare, time's silent passage fills the air. The fruit of thought, the sands that fall, what memories will it recall? Cool. Can you explain this diagram to me in a couple sentences? This appears to be a diagram depicting spectral lines from different elements. It is likely illustrating the characteristic frequencies of light emitted by those elements in a spectroscopic analysis. Cool. Thanks, Gemini. So this was one more demo uh, which you had actually seen from here. And uh, again, there are a lot of demos that you can specifically check out. But just by seeing this, one amazing thing I liked in OpenAI GPT-4 is the expression, the way uh, how that assistant talks, you know. Uh, with full of expressions and all. So I think that was a slight missing over here. But I hope in the future, Google will make sure that to come up with that also. But I feel this project will definitely do a lot of work with respect to vision use cases. And definitely just imagine you providing this particular feature to blind people and all. It can really create a bigger impact. So I hope you like this particular video. This was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you and all. Take care. Bye-bye.